be with you. Last time you and I spoke, uh, you were pretty outraged uh, about these reports that the CIA over the years have been providing bundles, uh, bags full of cash, millions and millions of dollars to Hamid Karzai, the Afghan leader, so he could distribute that money, do with it basically what he wants. So you wanted an explanation from the president. You wrote to him. You got no explanation. On Tuesday, you wrote another letter saying right. these secret payments lack any kind of accountability, encourage the very kind of corruption we're trying to prevent in Afghanistan, and further undermine U.S. taxpayers' confidence in our government. Since right. my original letter, President Karzai has claimed that the CIA station chief in Kabul assured him the payments will continue. Yeah. Have you received any uh, reaction, any word yet from the administration about these bundles of cash? Well, you know, Wolf, uh, two days ago we got word from the administration. I, I'm, I'm the ranking member on foreign relations, and one of the missions of the State Department that we oversee is to try to create uh, the rule of law and certainly to fight corruption with the countries that we work with. And I was told that, uh, that this really was not my business, that this was not in, uh, in our jurisdiction. Of course, I think it's in all of our jurisdiction. but. Since that time, I think uh, it's my understanding they've decided maybe that wasn't a particularly good response and that they are developing something and are going to send it back. But again, uh, Wolf, uh, Afghanistan is a country that's just wrought with, with corruption. And this administration has been, I'm talking about the Afghan administration, has had tremendous issues with corruption. It's my understanding that it's possible that not only are these cash payments going to the president of the country, this is a democratically elected president that we deal with and send billions of dollars of money to their country through normal routes. But on top of that, the fact that we're actually taking suitcases full of cash and giving it to this democratically elected leader and possibly to relatives in other parts of the country, to me that is, is, uh, is totally the antithesis of the thing that uh, what this country represents. I understand that sometimes when you go into new countries like pretension, uh, what we're doing in Syria, I understand there may be routes that we have to take. This is a very different situation and something that to me uh, flies in the face of our sensibilities in this nation and I do want a response. It's been a long time now. Uh, this country is getting ready to go through another election. Uh, in the next year or so, and to me, this is not the way we need to be dealing with the country. I thought John McCain brought up a great point yesterday after I questioned the assistant, the, dep the undersecretary, and that is, what if other countries were doing this? In other words, if we knew that Russia or Iran or some other country was delivering suitcases full of cash to the Afghan president, how would we view that? So I, I don't know why we're doing this. I want an explanation. And since we've talked about this in public, I want a public explanation as to why our country would be engaged in this kind of behavior if we're